Guys, this Google keyword strategy is awesome and you can do it without spending any money on expensive software or tracking. It's the same keyword strategy that's helped me and my clients generate six figures. And this is how it works, right? You're gonna look at your competitors or any type of business that you, you're in or industry you're in, and you're gonna do manual different keyword searches to find out who is constantly bidding on that keyword. Now think about this, if they are constantly bidding on that keyword, do you not think that that keyword is more than likely generating revenue and profitable clicks for that business? And another strategy as well is I'm gonna show you how to actually uncover keywords that Google actually gives you. Google knows, guys, who's typing in what, what people type in, what phrases they type in. So you've got to look at this data and put it and apply it for your own business. Now this will take a little bit of time from your side and a little bit of effort. You put a bit of time in, a bit of effort, and it will pay off, guys. And this will work for any type of business, affiliate marketing, new business, services, products, it doesn't matter. If you are online and have an online business, you're gonna need keywords, right? So let me show you how to go about discovering this strategy. So guys, let's dive in and let me show you how this works. So guys, this is the keyword uh, strategy that has helped us to generate 36 million, nearly 36 million eyeballs on our business, right? And, and it's a manual way of doing it, but it's so effective. And if you can take a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, and do this and put this effort in compared to your next person or your competitor, you're gonna really stand out and get some keywords in and find out what's working profitably. And let's also look at what Google suggests um, as well because they are in the, in the prime position to offer you different types of keywords, guys. And it, these two strategies alone will get you in front of millions of people for your business. So you can imagine the leads, clients, and customers you can generate from that. So let's go to Google and let's type in something like insurance. So let's say I'm an insurance company and I sell insurance policy over 55. And this is going to be a very much a rinse and repeat process. So yes, it's probably not the most exciting way of doing it, but it's extremely effective because people won't go to this level of effort um, to find keywords, but if you can and you do this, then you are going to win all the time. So can you see, right, I've typed in life insurance over 55. Now what I'm doing here is I am making notes of which companies, right, are targeting this keyword. Because let's, let's remember, right, if businesses are paying for this particular keyword over and over and over again, do you not think that that keyword to that business is profitable? It is massively profitable because they would not be buying and bidding <coughs> on that keyword. So let's take a look. So here's a good example, right? We've got Sun Life Insurance. Now, let's do it again. Let's refresh the page and let's have a look. Again, Sun Life Insurance. Again, Sun Life Insurance. Can you see the same company over and over and over again is bidding on this term? So what I'm trying to get over to you guys is take that term. So what you would do is you'd get a notepad and you would basically drop that keyword in to your um, notepad and, and make a note of it. So what we want to do here is we want to make a note of that, copy that keyword, but keep doing it right. So I would keep just refreshing the page. Sun Life, there they are again. Another, let's do it again. Sun Life, there they are again. Can you get, can you see what I'm doing guys? I am constantly using the same keyword and refreshing it to see if that company is at the top of Google for that particular word or keyword over and over and over again. And because they are, it tells me that that keyword has worked for their business. And what you can do then 
let's say you are in, in insurance or any business is click into the website itself and look at their landing page and then start to model it, right? Start to think, okay, this page is being used over and over and over again for that keyword. So what you do is you model the page, guys. They've already done the heavy lifting. They've already done the hard work in finding what works and what doesn't. So you then just got to model it and use the same keyword. So let's do it again. I'm going to do a completely new uh, keyword. I type it in again in insurance over 55. Let's have a look again. See number one. It's it, again. It's at the top again and you click into it and you model the page. Now this works for any type of business guys, right? So let me do something, I don't know, really different, right? Let, let's say I sell, um, let's say I sell, let's say I sell tea bags, right? I, I don't know why I've come up with tea bags. Um, uh, I don't drink tea, I, uh, <laughs> I, um, I, <laughs> I drink um, uh, coffee mostly. So let's have a look at tea bags, right? Uh, tea bags. Okay, so let's have a look which one is coming up over and over again. And guys, it doesn't need to be necessarily at the top, right? Explore a little bit and see what's at the bottom. See what independent companies are at the bottom. Um, so let's have a look. So we've got tea bags, we've typed in. We've got Viking Direct or, or selling tea bags. Let's have a look again. Viking Direct. Again, they are listed. Let's refresh it and let's do it again. Again, Viking. Can, can you see what I'm trying to do, guys? I'm trying to get over to you that I am typing the same keyword over and over and over again. And the same companies are appearing over and over and over again, which tells me and should be telling you that that company values that keyword because they're more than likely they have got sales or leads and customers from this keyword. So what you need to do, think about your own business, is then you need to explore keywords, find out who's constantly in the same position over and over again, and then go into their landing page and model what is already working. So big picture of T, some bullet points, um, some, um, if we can see it, some bullet points and a uh, price uh, currently in stock. So a very, very sort of typical e-commerce product page, right? So you then, you just need to model it. That's it, yeah? Um, so let's have a look at another thing. And, and what I want to show you is, is, is looking at, let's say you offer a dog training course, right? Um, is start looking at what Google tells you. So look at this. Google has given you some suggestions. What qualifications do you need to be a dog trainer? Uh, how to become a dog trainer? What is the highest level of dog training? So if any of these keywords in particular appeal to you, you can add that into your business, but it will work for any type of business, guys, right? So really super powerful, really, really helpful. And also look at these keywords. They're like th anything that's like three, three or four, four keywords in a sentence, long tail, cheaper to get customers, leads and clients from. So hope this is all making sense. Um, and then if you go right to the bottom, and this is a thing, it, it amazes me this man, because so many people miss this. Look at all these suggestions, right? So Google is giving you keyword ideas, and then you can take some of these keywords and then apply it to the first strategy that we did type it in and find out what businesses are appearing over and over and over again. So hope this has been really, really useful, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video on it because I'm getting a lot of questions from our members inside our Google coaching program about this type of thing. So thought this would be very, very helpful. Hope you found it useful and speak to you soon.